This is a digital logic question. We have been given a digital display system in this figure that displays the contents of register X. This is the register X we are having. This is the digital display system they are talking about. A 16 bit code word is used to load a word in X. So this code word 16 bits it is having and that has to be ultimately loaded into this register X. And how are we doing that either from S or from R. These are the S and R. There are some devices such as the multiplexer, demultiplexer, encoder, decoder. Some of those devices are there. Uh, all of them PQ, RNS, T, all of these examples, some of the devices. And somehow this S thing is loaded like this. It goes into T and then this comes from this side into T. One of them is chosen and then given to X. So that is how that code word one is chosen from those code words and loaded into the register X. Now they are saying S is a 1024 word memory segment. This S address which goes from this P through this S that resembles a 1024 word memory segment. Basically 1024 word address kind of thing it is. And then coming to this R it is a 32 word register file. How much is R? 32 word file. Now based on the value of a mode bit m. So m is any mode bit. Maybe it can be either 0 or 1. When 0 choose p. When 1 choose q. And then accordingly their contents are loaded in s, r then given to t. Something like that. They are hiding out the implementation details. And something is there about the mode bit which we are not concerned. Based upon that T selects an input word to be loaded in X. So T is selecting an input word either from S or from R and giving it out to X. P and Q interface with the corresponding bits in the code word to choose the address word. So these P and Q devices are here. What are they doing? They are acting as the interface between choosing this address and giving it out to S and R. Which one of the following represents the functionality of P, Q and T? So we basically have to identify what kind of devices can this P, Q and T can be. So now as it is given, this is a 16 bit code word, which is divided into two parts, the S address and the R address. What is this S address about? It would be a 1024 words, which basically means 2 to the power 10 words and it would take how much 10 bits and this R address is a 32 bit word so basically that would be 2 to the power 5 which means 5 bits so how many did we get these are 10 bits 5 bits this is 10 this is 5 and 1 bit will be there for this mode bit so this is collectively a 16 bit code word so now among this S address and R address, what are this P and Q are doing? They are acting as an interface. What that will be doing? It will be choosing one out of these two to the power 10 bits, two to the power 10 words and giving it out to S. Similarly, this Q will be giving out to R. So from all of these two to the power 10 and two to the power five words, how can we choose just one? They are the addresses, right? So this is like we are performing an address decoding and how do we perform an address decoding using a decoder so for 2 to the power 10 words what will be the size of the decoder we will need it will be a 10 cross 2 to the power 10 decoder so device p will be a 10 into 2 to the power 10 decoder similarly the device q will be it is having 2 to the 5 words and out of that one has to be chosen. So that will need us a 5 cross 2 to the power 5 decoder. So now we know what kind of devices are these P and Q. Now we are also asked about this T. What does T is doing? It is getting two inputs. One from S and one from R. And it is producing one output. This M, this is like a signal bit which we have at the bottom. So this is acting like a multiplexer. And hence this T can be said to be a 2 cross 1 multiplexer. So we have identified all of this devices and this corresponds to option C. P is a decoder, Q is a decoder and T is a 2 cross 1 multiplexer. So this will be the correct answer.